there guys and good morning. Today I am making meatball sub casserole and I think it's going to be super simple and hopefully pretty tasty. I'm excited because I'm trying out for the first time these crescent rounds. Um, I don't know if they're new or I've just never seen them before but uh, I am excited to try these because I love the crescent dough and now I think it'll be a lot easier to use in many different ways so that'll be exciting. So anyway, there's eight in here. So this casserole I'm keeping kind of small. You could always double it or triple it if you know, you're having a large crowd. Um, but I'm just starting with the eight. Also, I will be using frozen meatballs. Uh, I love these. Oh, they're so easy to use. And so that will take one meatball per crescent round. And I will top it with some marinara sauce and some shredded mozzarella and I'll be seasoning it up with oregano. So I will come back when everything is assembled and uh, I'll know a little bit more then about the exact amounts. So I will see you back here. Okay, so all I have done is added a little bit of the marinara to the bottom of the baking dish. And you do need to roll out these crescent rounds a little bit because they're spiraled, but they roll out perfectly. You just set a little meatball in the center, roll it up, and put it inside your baking dish. Once they're all snug inside your baking dish, go ahead and give them a tiny little drizzle of olive oil. At this point, you can add some salt and pepper if you'd like to. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna give them a sprinkle of oregano. going to top them with more marinara but that's not the best part this is the best part all the cheese I used about a cup and a half of shredded mozzarella all over the top. It's going to go into a 350 degree oven and when we get back we will check it out and I will let you know exactly how long it took and we will see if this works out. Keep your fingers crossed. See you back here in a minute. Here it is. Meatball sub casserole. It was in a 350 oven a good 35 to 40 minutes because I wanted to make sure that the crescent dough cooked fully. The meatballs were already cooked so we were just warming them through and it looks really good. Lots of cheese. Let's cut into it. So there it is, and we will see you next time.